In this video, I'm going to show you how to select your Universal Reprogrammer 2 vehicle interface for use in the scan tool. At this point, you should have already installed the Reprogramming Assistant software. You'll see it here on your desktop and the drivers for your Universal Reprogrammer 2 interface. If you haven't, uh, please do so before trying to set the interface up in the scan tool. Once you've installed the drivers, simply open the scan tool, pick any tool. We're going to open up the generic tool. Click OK. We're going to select Browse. Come up here to the toolbar, to the Vehicle Communications toolbar icon. Click on that. It's going to open up a screen where we're going to pick our vehicle interface from. And you'll notice on the screen here, I was previously using an EVI 6000 cabled interface. To switch interfaces to the Universal Reprogrammer 2, simply click Configure Vehicle Interface. Again, you'll see the list of vehicle interfaces that can be used in the scan tool. The scan tool comes with the Universal Reprogrammer 2 in the pick list. Simply highlight that row, come back down to the bottom here, click OK. Once you select Universal Reprogrammer 2 and click OK, you're going to see the vehicle communication screen again. And you'll notice here next to Ease Interface, it's switched from EVI 6000 to SAE J2534-1. And it says COM port up here at the top to see if you're connected fine. Connect the interface to a, a vehicle. Click Reset. Should try to connect. And if everything's all set up, you connect to the vehicle and you're all set to use your Universal Reprogrammer 2 in the scan tool. To switch back to an EVI 6000 or another interface, always just go back to Configure Vehicle Interface from this screen and you can switch interfaces however you'd like.